here we are in Mallorca, and we're here together with the one Michelin star chef, uh, Andrea Genesta. And we're here at this new restaurant, the Mediterranean, at this fantastic hotel, Sotreo. Uh, if you were to explain for somebody that never ever tried your dishes about your style, what would you say? I prefer to bring the luxury part of my, of my place, that my place is not just Mallorca, it's all Mediterranean Sea, and offer you a, 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 a experience with a tasting menu of a la carte about what is around the flavors, smells, colors, and all the details that is on the table. How did it all get started? Why did you get interested in food in the first place? I just started cooking while uh, I was with uh, my family, with my grandmoms, with my mother. As I check it every day how she cooking for us. As a young person, then getting into the kitchen and uh, seeing what kind of food uh, you could make, what was your favorite dish when you were young? The, the rice, paella, or typical dish, this in Mallorca is arroz crud. I always enjoyed the, the dry, the dry rice. How did you then decide to become a chef? It's something that you don't decide. When I start inside the kitchen, I just want to learn it more and more and more. When I was between 15 and 18, I was working in the Salam Beach hotels. Uh, That's just making seasons, and uh, in the same time, I study in the culinary school. Then there is uh, the time that I'm leaving the culinary school because I'm finished, and I said, "Okay, I want to move into Barcelona." And there was I start the. Um, I hope my career because I start to involve it about chefs with uh, Michelin experience and they uh, push me in my brain and say no 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 you have to work in, in another way. How did you then decide to start your own restaurant? It was a little bit an accident. One of the most special people who believe in me who is Pedro Pascual, Pedro Pascual the owner from one of the uh, most uh, important uh, hotels company from Mallorca. Give me a place to a uh, company they building, who is a uh, pretty son Did you have a like, clear idea what you wanted to do then? Yeah. Always I bring it my own products, mm. like for example, Sobrasada from uh, my island, uh, yerbas dulces, wines, whatever. Always, I bring it to the restaurant and I show the power of the island. When I was in El Bulli or in Mugadits, one of the points that I understand when they offer something special from the local products, the customers are really surprised. Where do you find the right products or produce to be able to create the dishes that you are talking about? Day by day and year by year, um, we are looking for the best products and it's difficult for us because the season here is, uh, is something that uh, we have to battle. And here in Mallorca there is a couple of farmers who support to us, as well my father supports me in some kind of products because uh, there is something really difficult to find it and he produced for me. We know our our friends because we don't say partners or we don't say we don't say suppliers. We say friends because they help me to 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 take it the best. Eighty percent are from Mallorca and from well or Mallorca or from near to the island. As you know, uh, there's a big discussion within the culinary world uh, to talk about sustainability. Uh, farm to fork eating. Uh, what's your take on that? You have to think finally with the economic circle. For example, if you're using organic food or, or organic meat 
from Australia. Maybe in Australia it was organic. Mm -hmm. But you have to understand this travel to Australia, to Mallorca, this is not sustainability meat. Michelin uh, guide give me the green star. I said, oh, but what is this? And finally they they call me and they explain me and say, okay, because you created a new way to understand the, the industry. And we needed these new ways for the new generations. I'm thinking that if you have here a really good uh, ship, you don't need it to buy it in New Zealand. So Andreo, uh, now we are at your fantastic new restaurant, the Mediterranean, but you have two more restaurants. Tell me the story about them. You understand that, understand that we start the main project uh, in Predison Jaume, which is in the north. Then we create in the, in the two years time we created as we said, a window in the Palma city. We created Aromata. Aromata is a place where uh, we start with popular food and now for me, uh, high gastronomy. And finally, you have three concepts, more popular and more fresh, more easy. That is Senzi. Senzi means easy. We have Aromata, Palma, and then we have Andreo Genestra Mediterranean, we see in Jucmayor. Uh, if you look into the crystal ball, where do you see? In my case, what we wanted is make it stronger the group, make it stronger our, our brand in the island, and maybe in the future bring it the, the brand of Mediterranean cuisine and export in another country. More space for around the world for the Mediterranean cuisine. If you were, with a few words, explain in your opinion what the Mediterranean kitchen could be in the future. Passion, hedonist flavors, and totally full of colors. Uh, if you were to give an advice to a young person that wants to become a chef like yourself, what would you say? Easy. First of all, the ambition, strong ambition, make planning, strategy, and first of and first and the most important, enjoy, enjoy because if you don't enjoy your job, your work, you lose.